Here's another example of how, to, how you solve linear inequalities. In this case, it's a linear inequality in two variables, two variables y and x. The solution would be part of a region on the xy plane. So let's draw the xy plane right there, the Cartesian coordinate system. The solution will be a region on that plane. To find that region, we want to find the boundary. The boundary can be found by taking this inequality and writing its equivalent equation by changing the less than sign to an equal sign. Then we grab that equation. Remember, this is an equation in the form of y equals mx plus b. In this case, b, the intercept is 3, the slope is a 1. So the intercept is y equals 3, that's up here. And since the slope is a positive 1, that means you have a rise of 1 and a run of 1. So when you go up 1, you go over 1, you go up 1, you go over 1, you go up 1, you go over 1. So here are the points that are on that line. Now be careful here. Since there's not an equal sign here, only a less than sign, that means the boundary is not part of your solution. To indicate that, instead of drawing a solid line, we're going to draw a dashed line. The dashed line indicates that there's the boundary between the region that satisfies inequality and the region that does not satisfy the inequality. We don't know yet which region it is, but the boundary is not included, so we drew a dashed line. So now to find out which of the two regions does satisfy the inequality, we're going to take a test point, and 0, 0 is always a preferred test point, so we try the point 0, 0 for x and y. When we plug that in, we get 0 less than 0 plus 3, question mark. Is that a true statement? Well, simplifying it, you can see that 0 less than 3 is indeed a true statement, so you say yes, that's true, which means that the point that I picked is part of the solution, it's part of the region that satisfies inequality. Since it's to the right of the line, we're going to shade that portion in. There we go. So this is the solution. This region of the xy plane satisfies inequality, and that's the solution not including the boundary. All right, let's go for one more. 